I just don't know what this piece is doing. I just, I just don't know. Like, what is, I don't know. See, why does it look blonde? Oh my god. Like, this section of my hair looks blonde when, mm, this is super cute. I think this is, okay, we can make this work. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful cupcake. So today, well, like yesterday or something, I came up with an idea. And, well, it was actually like Monday. Not that you care. So, I came up with an idea that I, that every once in a while, somebody like once every two or three weeks or maybe every once in a while, however much you want a story from me that I am going to tell you a story. Yep. Because you see, I'm an incredibly awkward person so I am bound to do incredibly awkward things and stuff and incredibly awkward things happen to me that sounds weird and so what better way to share my awkward experiences with you guys so yeah tell me if you want like this to be like considered a cupcake chick chat or cupcake chick chat is that like that's kind of a tongue twister. Cupcake chit chat, cupcake chit chat, cupcake chit chat, cupcake chit chat. Oh, hi elbow for me. Okay. So, yeah, so you know what? If you want more stories or if you think this is incredibly stupid and dumb and you're just like, don't ever do this again, I'm gonna beat you up or something like that, then tell me. Tell me in the comments below if you want a wonderful story. Oh, and the reason my hair looking more ratchet looking even more ratchet is because I haven't washed it in like uh, Monday, Tuesday, it's Wednesday so I haven't washed it in three days, wonder why? because I'm lazy and I have a lot of it and it's just too much to wash like what, like no, that's not, that ain't gonna happen I'll wash it sometime later I, should I wash it tonight? no, I don't want to it just takes too much energy and I weird so yeah if you want to hear the story of the psychoscience teacher keep watching so why, why, do, why am I doing with my life mm, I'm swinging in the wind okay so <laughs> okay so this story actually happened all of seventh grade which was well, I'm going to eight, so like last year. Anyway, well, not technically like last year. You get the last school year, okay? You, you get the idea. I had a teacher. I want. I have a strong urge to say her name, but I'm not going to. Out of maturity, I have no maturity. Okay. So you see, I feel like everyone else before they were born was taught basic human skills like common sense and stuff like that and then there's me where I was just where I was taught about like 10% because you know I can breathe that's about it okay so um yeah here you'll see your story too so I had this evil psycho crazy weirdo murder, science teacher oh my gosh she was the meanest person She's like the meanest person alive, probably. I should not be making this. I shouldn't be talking about someone. I should not make a whole video dedicated to someone. You know what? She doesn't. I guess I didn't really mean that I didn't. Well, she was the meanest person, I think, in my. I, you know, I'm not going to call her mean. I'm going to call her evil. <laughs> I'm so mean. So. Alive. And. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Um. Whoa, look, when I tap my iPad, I tap that. Okay. Okay. So, it like, can zoom in, what? See? Whoa, okay, now my lights. Wait, probably because I'm too close to my lights. Okay. So, one time, okay, so, I'm going to, it's just going to be like random stories from her, if I'm going to be talking about a person. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. So, one time, I remember, well, she was really, really, really weird. Okay. She would always, like, basically preach to us or, and I'm just like, what? Like, okay, every, I live in a very, very, very 
small town, and so everyone around here is like white and Republican. So um, so like so like, but you still can't like pre preach to kids or whatever. Like it's okay if she's a Christian. You know what? I don't care what anyone's beliefs are. Like go do whatever floats your boat, okay? And left the boat. It's the Titanic. Cause not when you're floating on that boat. Well, it like sucks, so you can't really float on the Titanic. What's wrong with me? See the Titanic sadder than that. <laughs> okay. Um. So, and she would always like preach to us, and I was just like, what? Like one time, my friend, we got my friend. She passed me a note saying I didn't know we were in church, and, I was just, and we got in trouble for that. Well, she did because I just read it, but I was just like. Here, take it, take it. I'm such a good friend, right? You know? Anyway, so, well, I saw her write it, so, but she still got in trouble. I should have taken the blame, but she didn't get down in trouble. She just got, like, a talking to a third class. Talking to. Okay, so, anyway, and there's this kid, and she, there's this kid, and she was late one time, and, um, it was, like, around, this is around, September ish and like um she was absent one day and so she asked the teacher for for whatever like papers she missed or whatever and she and she freaking lost it like that was the worst thing that could ever she was just like no your paper is in the yellow makeup work and I was just like dude our first day of and it's like okay yeah so she remembered that her paper, with, that her stuff that she missed was in the little folder at the beginning, well, at like the entrance of the room. But, like, calm down. We, none of us are perfect. We forget things, especially if you're a moron, like me. And so, yeah, we had the weirdest science projects too. One time, our science project was to make a paper airplane. A paper airplane. Yes, a paper airplane. That is what our science project was. Wait. So, so just deep in. You have to really think about making a paper airplane. Even though, since I'm a moron, it took me like two hours to make my paper airplane. And it, and it still wouldn't fly. You know, what? like, that's just my life. Like, okay, I took it home because I can't make a paper airplane for my life. Like, I can not do any of that artsy, fartsy stuff that, like, cool people can do. Like, I wish I could. I wish I could draw, but I cannot draw a circle. Like, no, that's just asking too much. I can't draw a straight line for ruler. Do you honestly think I can make a paper airplane? No, no. Okay, and... So it took me so while an average normal person probably took them less than five five minutes to make a paper airplane that would fly. No, me it took two hours. And class period. Yay! I'm so smart, right? And when and since I'm me, when I got to school and we had to fly it in front of her, it wouldn't fly. You know, of course that happens to me. That's my well, that's kind of my fault because I'm in. Well, it's kind of my fault for being a moron, but. So that's not really her fault. But anyway, so, um, yeah. And so, like, what? Like, I, it was just the weirdest science project ever. And, and I had to go, and one time I wasn't there. And so, and it was picture day, and I was working in my partner. Oh, my partner was such an idiot. We had, okay, we had to, we were doing, like, this stupid water displacement experiment thing where we had to, like, drop the golf balls and the little thing of water and see how many millimeters or whatever went up, it went up and so anyway so I wasn't looking at the board because I was kind of worried about filling out this paper or else she would that was or else she would have yelled at me and um and she all of a sudden she just starts screaming Abby why aren't you looking at the board and I was just like I'm not here not here go someone kill me and I was just like someone kill me please and she never told me to look at the board. And I was just like, I'm sorry. And so, yeah, that's the story of how I get yelled at. For not looking at the board. One time, she gave a kid a detention for sharpening his pencil. Like, oh my gosh. Out of control, I tell you. Like, whoa, like, so out of control. Like, I can't even get on how bad that was. Like, 
What? Oh, one time, this kid, this kid, I don't think she heard him, but all of a sudden the little class yelled, Science! Well, she was yelling at this, she, she was yelling at the kid for, you know, for, um, it was, yeah, she was yelling at the kid for sharpening his pencil, and all of a sudden, this kid, I'm not, I don't want to say people's names, he, he shouts, Science sucks! And I don't think she heard him, it, it was really funny. And, yeah. Oh, one time, there's like this big, evil closet of things that none of us were allowed in. No one, oh, I don't really, I don't really know what was in it. All I know is that we weren't allowed to go in the closet and that she wasn't going to tell, and that she wasn't going to tell us, um, well, and that we weren't allowed to know what was in the closet. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> and all of a sudden she went in there to, like, get something. I, she went to, like, get this toolbox thing. I can't remember. She went, I can't remember what she was going to get, but anyway, and all of a sudden, you heard, like, this crash of stuff, and I was just like, oh my gosh, is she dead? <laughs> well, I didn't mean, like, dead, like, I didn't want her to die, but I was just like, I kind of don't, you know, when I have to witness someone dying, because that probably wouldn't be the highlight of my life, so, yeah. Oh, also, one, she would give a oh, one time, okay, I left for spring break, like, two days earlier before all the other peasants at my school, because that's what happens when you're a princess, ooh, bangs are falling out. Oh, oh no, they didn't holler. Okay, so anyway, and so we were we were working on the science pro. We were working on this like science, but we were working on this biome box, and we had to like basically make like a rainforest or the some or, like the tundra or something like that. It was, you know, who cares? about like the different biomes because I don't. Anyway, so I had to make like a rainforest box. Let's just call it that. And so and so I was and so she and so I was talking to her about like me getting it done. I was like, well I, and I was just like, well I could take it home and do it and she was like, no no I don't want you to do that and I was like that's the only option I have, dummy. Like that's what and I was just like what do you want me to do? Like what? I don't know. I don't get it. And so anyway um, and so I started on this biome box at 3 a.m. Because I'm such a procrastinator. Did not get finished till 7 a.m. Like, what? Like, oh my god. And she rarely ever gave, and she never gave us enough time to do a science project. I sound like such a little kid complaining about that. But, yeah, like, why wouldn't she only take it home? I don't know. So, the stories will get better. Okay, I promise you, once I'm getting better at this story telling, telling, telling business thing. So, um, oh, also, my mama told me that she might let me burn candles. Well, not candles, but like little tea lights in my room. And I'm just like, ah, because she doesn't let me do burn candles in my room. Wonder why. I mean, like, I totally couldn't set my room on fire. Like, what? Like, no. Like, totally wouldn't do that by accident. <laughs> anyway, so, um, oh, also, I can't wait for new outro. I'm going to, I'm going to say it. So, subscribe, become a member of the bakery, and give a cupcake at Sprinkles. I want I think that's so cute, and I love that. So, subscribe, become a member of the bakery, and give a cupcake at Sprinkles, and follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Links will be in the description, and bye. Love you. Well, peace, hair grease, love you.